Yes. What's up, Rob here, Man vs. Pin, the show where we find awesome pins on Pinterest and put them to the test. Now, throughout the course of the series, a bunch of you have been requesting this Sandbowl pin. However, things got serious the other week when Caroline and Lollipopper42 suggested it, and more than 80 of you liked it up. I got the hint. I'll get some sand. Pinometer? What do you think? Really? So I picked up some sand at the craft store, got a few different colors because I thought I would get fancy. While there, I also picked up this fish bowl, which I'm going to use as my mold. I grabbed some plastic wrap, some wax paper, and some Elmer's glue. Now, the pin doesn't necessarily give any kind of exact measurements, so I'm kind of on my own over here. I'm adding some sand, adding some glue, stirring it all together, and just kind of seeing what happens. Now, I got a thickness of sand that I think may work, so the next step is to slowly drip it onto the bowl. I started off with pouring a small base, and then slowly dripped it around the edges, which I learned it's not really dripping it's more like applying. It doesn't really drip on that well and it all kind of forms together. Now within a couple minutes it had already dripped down and covered the entire thing, which meant that the mixture was too liquidy, if that's a word. All right, now we'll do it for real. I cleaned the bowl, added the plastic wrap, and made a new mix of sand. This time, hopefully the right consistency. And I applied it to the top of the bowl. Now this time around, I think we got it. The sand seems to be moving slow enough and dripping down to create some cool shapes. A little drippy action here and there, but that's to be expected. Let's leave this alone to dry for a few hours and see what happens. Oh well. <laughs> what the f is that? Looks like somebody threw up on the bowl. Definitely looks nothing like the pin at all. Sam glued the plastic, wrap glued to bowls and more wax paper and a oh, fucking mess. Maybe it's the sand, I thought. So I got myself some more sand, a bit finer, a less coarse kind of sand. I mixed it up, and right from the beginning I could tell that this was going to be a thousand times better. The consistency and the thickness was a total improvement. I applied it onto the bowl, and you know what, I think I may have cracked this thing. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to let this dry for a few hours and see what comes of it. Oh yeah, that looks fucking awesome. Wow, I like how that turned out. That's super, that's super cool. Yeah, I... That's great. Honestly, fuck it. Moving on to the next step. I covered it with another layer of plastic wrap and added the next layer of sand. Dripped it on and then let it dry. Then came the next day, and yeah. That's totally... That's totally been worth three fucking days of my life. Oh yeah, that's nice. I put some popcorn in there. Serve it up at a party. <sighs> Sandy fucking popcorn. Check. Now here's the deal. The original bowl pinned was designed by an industrial design student who kind of does this for a living. She's got a studio and a business that specializes in practically just making these bowls. So I'm thinking that this project might be a little bit more intense than just some Elmer's glue and some beach sand. Whatever the process, good on her for figuring it out. If you've got a pin that you want to see on the show, hit me up in the comments below. And hey, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. We'll see you back here next week.